First step. Give me a first step. Tell me what you're doing. Well, I'm just keeping it fluid so I can keep all the gold mm. right down in the very bottom of the pan. Okay, just like what he said. Keep it fluid. Yep, like that. And then wash it off. Oh, gee, I, I think I might... If I was doing this at home, though, I would have different sizes all classified down. Uh-huh. For, oh, I see. you know, minus 10, minus 20, minus 40, all the way down to the smallest size. Uh-huh. And I would pan them all separately. Oh, you got a system. This one we've got what, probably quarter inch, half inch. So doing it like this, we probably will lose a little bit of gold or the fine gold, mm -hmm. just because it takes more water to move the mm -hmm. bigger rocks than it does the small gold. So I'll just take a couple of these out. Then I start starting going back and forth, making sure it's all that right, up right down in there. Okay. And also, when I do it at home and do my clean outs, I add dish soap to the water. Oh, yeah. So the surface tension doesn't float out the gold. So this will give us a good idea. You just pitch them. He's a lot faster than me. Yeah, and I look at it like, if there's not a nugget in there, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> That's like it throwing away a penny, down. girl. I know. Like me and the little sapphires. I will polish them up and oh, I will I figure have to out put my glasses now, on. Is that some shiny flakes down there? Yeah, it looks like there is might be some in that. Oh, see right here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got some gold. So this is what you're doing tomorrow up on the claim? Yep. Sweet. I know what you'll be doing. That's beautiful. Oh, well, there's gold in there. Yep. It's always coming down the mountain. It's always being unearthed. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, about fifteen little pieces in there. Hmm. Pretty cool.